what you want mm. to do today and mm. what is in progress so it will be complete course which will be in progress okay, okay. So performance mm. tuning administration and exchange everything here will be in the course okay, okay. and when okay. and what finally we finish we will move to the done so we will yeah. cover all this our thing to this tool during the session so in the sessions i will just quickly mm. let you know what main topics i am going to cover okay. i am not speaking so loudly because i am in office at this okay. time i am in some so that is why if you face some challenges just let me Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, how many how many days? Uh, okay. It will be twenty. If if both of us are regular, twenty days. Twenty days. Yes, if both of us are regulars, twenty days for this and ten days for hands-on. Total thirty days will be the full course. Okay. okay. Yes, so here we have a course content. First, we will go with the basic course content, all the basic things which will mm -hmm. be there. And apart from it, we will also compare and see the yeah. architecture of Cassandra also. So when yeah. we cover parallelly Cassandra and MongoDB here, and mm -hmm. after this topic, we will go specifically into the MongoDB where we do data modeling, sizing, schema mm -hmm. design, installation, mm -hmm. setup, CRUD installation, CRUD operations, mm -hmm. uh, performance tuning, monitoring, administration, administration include backup, security, SSL certificates, encryption of the data, LDAP mm -hmm. integration, everything will be in the administration. Hello. You have some disturbance. Sir. Hello. Hello. రాజ్య <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
I think we will do a large amount of hands-on the replication, charting, uh, administration, performance zooming, and all other things we will going to do. So every topic of the MOOC will be covered. If you feel mm -hmm. that any of the topic is not being covered, you can refresh that topic. So I'm so okay. much comfortable with this subject, you can request any topic from this. Okay? Okay. okay. So, I will start with a few small topics because I am an office. So apart from it, if you need uh, these sessions, you can go with first session free of cost. If you feel comfortable, you can we can continue. Otherwise, uh, it is it is okay. Okay, one two sessions you can see me. Okay. So starting with the distributed systems, I will give you two more de two three definitions to so try to understand the subject. So what is a distributed okay. system? So what is a distributed system? Any idea? Yeah, I I know distributed system. Yeah, so one mission, system? one mission in a particular location to distribute the data or water information, whatever. Share the. Okay. See, uh, can you give me one example of a distributed system? Distributed systems. Uh, uh, okay. Example. See, I'm I'm giving oh. one example. I'm giving you. For example, I'm working yeah. in an organization. Here yeah, the people work in two shifts, two shifts, one morning and one evening. Computer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what happened here? What work I am doing? One more person also knows that work. How to do mm. that? Yes. And we are sharing the load between each other. Mm. Half is half me is doing, and whenever I am not here, he is there. And if mm. I am not here, he is there. So that yes. means we are doing some just to work together. And our goal is common goal to give the mm. client hundred percent service. Yes. Okay, same way the servers are there, when servers are working together to give you the availability, high availability, 24 by 7, and can distribute the workload, distribute the data among each other to give the better performance, to give the better yes. performance. So we call them as the distributed systems. Okay, so this distributed system, this is the basic definition of distributed systems. Okay. Yes. Okay, when we talk about distributed systems, other person destroys these images. Which other person? 
Yeah, yeah, tell me. Okay. So now I am telling you what is the. I will talk about another term. It is very important also. It is scalability. So what is the scalability? You know what is oh. scalability? Oh, scalability means you to manage the data or whatever. Sorry, I don't know. Actually. Okay, thank you. So now I will explain. Just give me one second. So what is scalability? Scalability is the ability of the system to expand the growth yeah, yeah. in data yeah. using data or something for example you are living in a room one you are second, living in what is scalability one second it is the ability ability of the system of ability of anything to expand with the growth in demand yeah for example you are living in a home where five people can live in it but if four or five guests will come you are able to accommodate them so you are able to scale up to 9 people in your home 9 people can sleep but if 20 people will come you are not able to accommodate them so it means your scalability is 9 only rest of them you will accommodate somewhere else for a friend home anywhere so this is scalability same way for example i have a database a database he is able to store or service any database a database or b and i am taking the name of any particular database hmm So in that database we have a hundred GB of data. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now this hundred GB of data, see, only storing is not important. We are able also able to process that data. Yeah. Am I right? So only yes. storage is not important. We are able to process the data. So that hundred GB of data you are easily able to process on the server. Easily able to process. Okay. But what happened? Whenever the size started increasing, we are facing performance challenges. Yes. Okay, so what happen when you increase the performance challenge? You will go to the market, you will buy RAM, put more RAM in your laptop, and increase the performance. Am I right? Yes. Yes. So you scale your laptop to double of memory to get the better performance. So what happen? Again, one thing happen. Again, your data increases. Your system again has performance challenges. And what you did? Again, you went to the market for a bill. Right. But they will see you. Right now, the upgrade is not possible because maximum memory your laptop can support is only 16 GB. Only yes. 16 GB. Yeah. So what happened at that point of time? You are not able to expand after the certain level. Sorry, so one? this this you are not able to expand after that. Am I right? Okay, got it. Okay, so we call that system as scale up. What do we hmm. call them as? Scale up systems. Scale up systems. Okay, oh. and there is another system. Another systems also. For example, you are not able to process the data. You will tell oh. me that is both of us will work together. You and my laptop will combine together. We will store half data here, half data here, create the cluster, mm. and mm. and and do the and distribute the workload, and we will be able to process more data. Same way, when again your data size increases, you will join the third person or third third laptop or third server. So what we do? We go. Sir. One. Excuse me, just a minute. Hmm. Uh, oh, one second. Do we scale up system? See, scale up systems are those systems where you can increase the scalability. What is scalability? The power of the system to process or store more data. Am I right? Yes, sir. When you increase the scalability, hmm. simply by hmm. increasing the peripherals. That means you increase the RAM or something. You did it and you scale it up. Mm. That is called as scale up systems. Okay. Mm. For example, your MySQL database cannot be distributed across multiple servers. So it is a scale up database. If database size increases, you have to increase the memory of that server only. Mm. That chance is only. But what happens with scale out? If this is not sufficient, what you will do? You will combine one more. You will make them as a distributed system. Mm. One more. Again, it is not sufficient. It will bring one more server. Mm. So three servers are storing your database and processing the data. Mm. So these systems, when multiple systems work together, we call them as distributed systems. Is that clear? Yes. And this kind of an architecture is called a scale out or scale horizontal. Scale out or scale horizontal. So nowadays, all the technologies need. Scale out architecture. 
because the data is growing every year. So that is why all of your NoSQL databases are scaled up. They are the distributed systems. Okay. So all of them are the distributed systems. Is that clear? No. Now we are using the interface model, right? Yes, what, what? Now using the architecture as a scale out architecture, right? Yes, yes, no SQL database is going to scale up. Right? No. All the no SQL. Yes? No. Okay. How? What, what, what? Can you repeat your question or type your question? Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, I am seeing there. What is your question? Now, in, now in, in this time using the architecture and scale out, uh, scale out and architecture, right? Yes, now we use MongoDB as a scale out architecture. Who is using? Who is using? We are talking about scale out. This is scale out. Yeah. This is scale out. Multiple services. We have an RS scale out. So distributed systems are using scale out architecture. We have scale out. Okay. We have that okay. the workload is distributed across the multiple servers. Is that clear? Okay. Okay. So I think was a uh, use you you can have one class with me. I will not pay anything. Because today is lot of disturbance in my office. I was supposed to be at home, but some critical work is being done. So you can join any time for a session if you want. If you like it, you can continue. If you do, you cannot continue. Okay. Okay. But this seems a lot of difficult to figure this okay. okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh.